This is Carmen with WP for Creatives. In this video, we're going to look at how to install Shareaholic and set your WordPress site up to use the Shareaholic plugin. <coughs> Excuse me. The Shareaholic plugin is used to allow your visitors to easily share your content on their social networks. I want to start here as far as installing the plugin because when you do a search for Shareaholic, at least at this point, it may be different when you're, by the time you're watching this video, two occurrences of Shareaholic show up when I search for Shareaholic on, when I do a search for add plugins. As far as I can tell, these are the same. It's the same version, made by the same company. They've been updated at the same time. So either of these are okay to install. I'm going to go ahead and click on this first one to install. After Shareaholic installs, Go ahead and activate it and then you'll notice over in your dashboard menu there'll be another entry down here for Shareaholic. I'm going to go ahead and click on the app manager where we can set up the settings of how I want Shareaholic to behave. So which social networks I want them to be to allow my visitors to easily share on as well as where to place these share buttons. Shareaholic comes with some additional features as well so just so you, so you are aware of them. You can also add related and promote content on your pages or posts. I'm going to turn those off for now because we're going to focus just on allowing our visitors to share our content on their social networks. And that's this section here called Share Buttons. You can place your share buttons at different locations on your website, and those are listed right here. I'm going to focus just on the sharing them on the post for now. And what we do inside here will be relevant to any of the other areas where you want to share your content. I'm going to choose to place these share buttons above and below all my posts so on my blog. For each individual post, you'll see share buttons above and below that post. To customize what that looks like, I'm going to just go ahead and set up this first occurrence of my share buttons. By default, this is what the share buttons look like. You can either turn off the heading or select a different heading for your preference. You can set the positioning. A block me just going to show up above or below the content without text wrapped around it, or you can have text wrapped around it. The share buttons can be horizontal or vertical. You can change the size of the buttons. And you can turn off the counters or place the counters elsewhere, as well as align these buttons to the left, right, or center of your content. If I want to remove certain buttons here, I'm going to click on, hover over that, and click on the little X that shows up in the top right. If I want to place any of these up there, just simply click on that option, it will show up within that. I'm going to move these, this one over to the right of LinkedIn. So those are the buttons I want to use. I'm going to leave, this is a more button, I'm going to leave that on there. When they click on that, when the visitor clicks on that, it's going to show this little window here that gives them an option to show in other networks if they so desire. One other thing to point out before I close this window is at the bottom here is the short code I can use. This is another feature of Shareaholic that I really like. So I can use this short code and place these share buttons anywhere on my site, even within content of any page. So it doesn't have to be just the specified areas that we saw earlier. I can place this anywhere within content. Move it and click on Save Settings. I'm going to do this one more time. It does not carry through, so you have to do this each time. Like so. There also is an option to sign up for a free account on shareholic.com. And I believe when you do that, you can save your default settings for how you want your share buttons to look like. And it'll automatically pull in the settings versus having to do it for each location that you choose to show your to show the share buttons. All right, so I've set that up. If I want to do the rest of the way, I would do that. But it's the same setting, same procedure that we just saw. I'm also going to click on this option here to edit the share button settings. This is where I set up how I want the message or the post look when it goes to Twitter, Facebook, or any of the other 
social networks. I put in my Twitter name there. By default, it's going to use the Shareaholic URL shortener. You can use any of the other common ones if you desire. After a visitor has shared on their social networks, a pop-up window comes up, and in that pop-up window, it's going to say, thanks for sharing. You can change that to whatever you want this to say. You can also, another feature I like about Shareaholic, is turn on your follow buttons in that pop-up window, and then set those follow buttons by clicking on that on that little gear icon. You can set up your different social network contact information down below. If I don't say, if it's, for example, I don't want to use Pinterest, I simply get that it disappears down there. If I want to use, say, LinkedIn, I add that information there. Okay. So you can format that, that pop-up window as you desire. Go ahead and do save settings. Now to see this on the site, you can actually refresh this so you can see the re most recent changes. This is just a sample post. This is the content in my post. It's very, very small. Um, you should have a lot more paragraph and text here, but you can see the, the short before and after the actual content. So that's how you use the Shareaholic plug in within your WordPress site.